Hi everybody. Just like to make a quick video of my current wood wood inventory. Um, this is basically what I've been doing for the last five weeks. Probably got about 50 hours into it of splitting and moving logs. And what I have here's my uh, splitting area. Um, you can see I got a, a, a burn barrel full of uh, kindling that comes uh, from when I split a log, you know, the shards from the wood. And then I also have another barrel over there, of course my splitter and wheelbarrow. Um, but you, you can see this pile right here is probably 14 feet long and probably an average height of 6 feet tall. Probably at least, I would say, two cords there. Um, this pile right here is my scrap pile wood. It's basically the ugly pieces that I wouldn't sell to my customers. Like pieces like this right here, you know, that's not what a piece of firewood is supposed to look like, at least in my mind. But this isn't going to go to waste. I'm going to keep it for us. And if you can see that pile right there that's just about out. In November, I plan on moving moving that pile over there and then putting some good wood there. So that's what will burn. Uh, this right here, um, when I uh, sell wood at my uh, stand down there, I don't know if you can see it on the driveway, uh, right there in the middle of the screen, but um, once I sell some wood down there, I'll split these up, make bundles into them, and uh, replace the ones I sell. Those logs right there were just cut too short. Anything under a foot long is no good that I, or that I won't sell, but I will probably end up splitting that and keeping it for us. Now back here, oh, and you can see too, this is uh, in an overhang, so the wood stays dry. And the same the way, same way back here, you know, big nice area to store all this wood. And there's quite a bit of it. These are the, this is the last um, pile right there that I just filled up over the last week or so. Um, and then I got another pile right here of, of wood. And it goes all the way back. It's probably about nine feet long, maybe uh, close to five foot tall. This is about six foot tall, about 15 feet long. So, and that's all that wood is, is uh, good, high-quality red oak, white oak, maple, and a cherry, and with a little bit of hickory in there, too. And same with that pile right there. As you can see, that is going to last a long time. I, I would guess that all of this, this is what I'm going to start selling first when I get orders, and this. And that should easily last through the summer with uh, my fire pit customers. And this right here is my uh, seasoning log rack. These are the logs I got from the Enzion job. Uh, this is where I put my green green wood. It, you know, it's on this rack. It gets good sun. It'll help it season. These, this wood won't be ready for probably another six or eight months for splitting. So I need to go get more uh, green logs and fill this rack up and then just let it sit. And back here, this is the remaining wood I have uh, left of the Galesburg job I did for Scott. I've been taking logs off of this. This is about twice as big as it is now, but now it's all split. So I don't like to have wood sitting out on the ground, even though it has a tarp over it, because it can rot. You can see all, the, all these are nice, clean logs, high quality red oak mostly. I see some uh, maple in there also, but this. You know, and these these logs right here are monsters. I'm gonna have to have my brother help me move them. They're probably 150 pounds each. So I gotta go through all that. I would guess there's probably at least 
close to two cords of wood right there that needs splitting. And then on a property, I've been taking out a lot of the uh, old dead trees on the ground that haven't rotted too bad. Um, that makes great campfire wood. That log right there, uh, I got it on two logs, and it just needs to be cut to length with my chainsaw. These are too rotted. Here's a project for me probably in the fall, once I go through all that wood up there that's under the tarp. See this tree right here, it's about 20 feet tall, but it's perfect, perfect diameter, maybe uh, about 14 inches at the base and maybe 10 inches at the top. And it's an oak tree. You can see where the, where the top half has already fallen off, broke off somehow. Maybe got hit by lightning, and I've already been cutting this up and using it. You can see right there where I cut off about eight feet of it, but it's good, good red oak. And uh, you know, I'm just gonna let it sit out here and season during the summer. So I got quite a bit of wood here on my own property to take care of, but you know, it's not gonna last forever. So. I've got a friend on NZ on road that wants some trees out and uh, I'm going to head over there again in the future and get some trees out of there because, uh, you know, this wood won't last forever. Um, my friend Tim told me I, said I should get, all, get rid of all the leaners, like that tree right there. See how it's arched? And that's uh, another oak tree, perfect diameter, and it should fall in the safe area. So. I think I'm going to take that one down and probably have Chad help me with that. And this leaner right here, see the angle of it? You know, the tree should be straight up and down, but that one's arched off to the right there. So, another tree. And then I'll go through here and get whatever dead ones on the ground that haven't rotted and uh, the dead ones standing. So, got quite a bit of wood to last me for several years. Just uh, need some mortars, so make sure you get all your wood from Joe's Premium Firewood. And uh, like us on Facebook. We'll talk to you later.